yes move this down a bit down a bit so you can see it all right so the next thing i'm going to do now is to copy this text okay you can just copy this text reduce the size and then change this to thank you thank you very much um cheers to cheers to more growth okay um i can't remember if this was the exact text i used but then this can still save us all right so for this i use montserrat okay so the font i use for this is montserrat okay i use montserrat medium then i board in chess i board in chess okay yes i just no i mean montserrat medium then chess to more growth i also use montserrat medium for that then thank you i also use montserrat you can also use Montserrat medium for that okay so you can see what i'm trying to say ensure that it's aligned to the center and then increase the spacing increase your line spacing your normal spacing rather then also reduce your line spacing okay so that your text will look more balanced so i want to adjust this so i want to adjust this test okay yes this is it i'm going to also increase this up a bit mark it then ensure that it's still work position to the center and also position this to the center and guys this is where we are okay this is where we are all right so this is 10k cheers to most up all right so all right so the next thing i'm going to do now is to um okay you can still adjust this a bit yes and i'm going to move this out to okay so that it appears more balanced so the next thing i'm going to do now is work on my background i'm going to copy this i'm going to increase the size then i'm going to 10 10k plus okay 10k plus that is the text i use for that okay but for this what i'm going to do is to to change the font the font i use is the font I use is library 3 am like you can see library 3 am so click on ok this is the font I use increase the size increase the size then ensure that the spacing is reduced okay you can see reduce the spacing then I'm going to just move this to back ensure that this work position before you move it to back mark it you can also copy this move this down also then ensure that it's positioned well positioned then move this here to then ensure that it's well positioned okay ensure that it's well positioned then you can now begin to move all to back okay send to back to back send this to back to then um then you can move this you can move this up you can move them up a bit Then you can move them up, move them up, move them up. Alright, so the next thing I'm going to do now is to move this to the back too, okay? And yeah, this is what we've got. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to ensure that you tap on all of this. Then, uh, okay, I think you have to do that individually. So ensure that you tap on them. Then reduce the opacity of each of those 10k at the back. It reduce the opacity to nine reduce the opacity to five yeah four four reduce the opacity of each of them to four just four okay just four the same thing to the to the last one okay just four so you can see it it's just for you to have that feel at the background okay so yeah this is what we have got and then the next thing i'm going to do now is to save this work okay so but first i want to i need to increase the size um i need to increase the size of this lady so i'm going to just you know lock it yeah i'm going to unlock it this is it this is it so i'm just going to increase the size i'm going to increase the size again all right like you can see this is it this is what we've got here so yeah the next thing I'm going to do now is to save it. So I'm just going to save this. Um, you can save it as PNG, 
well, I'm going to just save mine as JPG. Okay, so then save to gallery. So let's wait for it to render. All right, so image saved. Our image has been saved. The next thing you are going to do now is to import your image to Lightroom. Okay, that is the next step. The next step is to adjust our image in Lightroom to edit our image, our design rather, in Lightroom. Okay, so now for me, um, you can easily for Lightroom, you can easily just come here, click on plus, and import your image. But for me, what I like to do um, is to just go to my gallery. I like to go to the design and I like to just share it directly to Lightroom from here. So it's going to add. Now I'm just going to come here and wait for my image. Okay, so this is the design. The design has come in. Alright, so this is the design. The first thing I'm going to do is color grading. So I'm just going to click on grading and I'm just going to adjust it. Okay, so you can just adjust it a bit. Don't, not too much. Okay, so don't let it be too much. But then it just to, um, ensure consistency around the design okay like you can see now look at the before look at the look at the after so click on done then the next thing i'm going to do is to click on details increase the sharpening okay i increase the sharpening though not too much but then i think um 60 is okay 60 is, oh, come on 60 or let me just leave it at 61 right let me leave it at 61 the next thing i also do is click on effect and also increase the texture okay then i need to also adjust some things click on light then increase the exposure a bit then um click on contrast click on contrast and um i think this is cool yeah this is okay i think i should reduce the exposure by one okay now like you can see on my screen i'm just going to save this i'm done with this now the next thing i'm going to do is to take it to pixar which is where i'm going to finish up the design so click on pixart this is my pixart app i'm just going to click on let's wait for it to load click on plus right click on plus then i'm going to tap on my design here this is it this is what i've got here so the first thing i'm going to do is to click on add photo all right then i need to add my lens flare here. so i just have to scroll down all right so this is the flare i want to add okay just click on this click on add all right this is it it's also going to be available in the community so this is it the first thing i'm going to do here is to go to um blend click on blend and increase the blend um change the blend to screen okay so we are using screen for this we are using just screen for this now i'm going to come to flip click on flip then i want to flip it here okay because i want the light to come from here why because it is this part of this amazing lady that is bright so i just want to make it more realistic now if i should use this color it's not going to really make sense why because the color is not consistent with the um original color like with the blue so i'm just going to tap on this um lens flare i'm going to click on adjust i'm going to go to e and from there i'm going to adjust it okay so you can see what's happening now i'm going to just adjust it to blue and i think i love this color i think i love this color it's great i'm going to click on clar clarity i'm going to in increase clarity okay i'm just going to increase the beat just a bit right just a bit then i'm going to um click on highlights then i'm going to increase it increase it up a bit okay so i'm going to just mark it and i will increase the size a bit more and this is what okay let me reduce it a bit more rather and this is what i've got guys this is what i've got and this is our design so i'm just going to mark it and i'm going to download it okay so let's wait for it to load close and then just come to gallery and let's check our design out this is our design so this is the one from pixel lab this is lightroom and this is pix art i would love to see your own replication do where to join my telegram community link in the description box and i would love to see your own work in there thank you i'm going to see you in the next video